Good Friday morning, the last day that we're going to be online doing this, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that it has given you something that you can glean from that you will know that God is with you through this time, that he is faithful to his children. Um, I just want to bring to you three points from, I told you, I think yesterday, the book that I'm reading, A Widow's Journey by Gail Roper. And I just want to bring you three points that she brings up in the book saying that we are now developing a new normal. And there are several things that we need to go to to get help. Um, the first one is we need to find something that we have enjoyed even in our married life before our husband passed away. Maybe it's a hobby. Maybe it's reading. Maybe it's going out with the girls. Things like that. Because you need to develop your own relationship with yourself. Then you, the second thing is we need our families and our friends that will mourn with us. Those that will help us through this time. There are several programs out that you can go through. Um, Grief Share is one that I went through. I know a lot of people, you know, have other programs and not the same program works for everybody. But Grief Share talked about a new normal that I need to develop. I have to decide, well, I have to take care of the grass. I have to take care of the bills. I have to go pay the taxes. I have to make sure my car is serviced. All these things. A statement in Grief Share says, grieving is never anything we get over. We're meant to live in it and move through it. We're me meaning to move. I can't talk this morning. We are meant to move through it. And hopefully you are learning, like I am still learning, that I can move through this time. It doesn't have to define me every day, all day long. But I can move through it. Um, in Jeremiah 31, 3 through 4 says this, The Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. I will build you up again, and you will be rebuilt. Isn't that a promise that God gives us? Isn't it a fantastic promise? That it says that all these things, they don't have to define us, but that God can rebuild us. And he is doing that. I know that he's doing that in my life, and hopefully you realize he's doing that in your life. Let your family and friends minister to you. Let other means minister to you. Don't try to take everything yourself, but get out and start living again a new normal. Your time may be short. Your time may be long, but we know that God is faithful to us through everything. If you would like to contact us, just go to the church site. I think it's lcphk.org. And there's a place on there that you can do a prayer request. And just send us your prayer request. If you would like for us to pray for you and with you, send your prayer request. We will be glad to answer. Um, we hope that you've enjoyed this series or this week of lessons that hopefully have been uplifting to you. And we just thank you and we praise you for your efforts that you've put in today and this week to watch us and be lifted up. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day, and we just praise you, Lord, because, God, we know that your word says that you will rebuild us. Lord, we won't be the same as we were before, but, God, that you will change us. And, Father, I just thank you for all those who have watched, and I pray for each one, Lord, that your word will be used in their lives in the coming weeks, in the coming months, in the coming years, Lord, that they will realize that you love them, and, Lord, that they will realize that you are still there, you are still king on the throne, and Lord, that you will be with them through the coming days. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye.